they get tired, yeah. Yeah. Do they focus on certain part? Do they spend more time on certain part? Yeah, underneath the seat or on the yeah, yeah. On the seats. Yeah. So where they focus, yes. And those who look uh, uh, how clean is the car and what is actually the yeah the car is it Mercedes or BMW? This would yeah be yeah. What kind of car would be? You would want to record that as a fact, but the but the, you know and again you'd hope to, that would be a rec that would be something that you would um, you would uh, you would capture. Mm -hmm. Can we talk to the people? Or Not in this case. Sorry. Well, this is just observation. Okay. But so so we would so what I'm going to force you to do today, and you know you think about you talk about this in your teams. But I'm saying start with observation before you ask questions, because the observation will help you decide what questions to ask. And so I'm forcing you to kind of do it sequentially. Yeah. yeah. I want to ask um, <coughs> here in this case, uh, the notion what is clean and what is not clean is kind of a subjective. So yes. uh, I think that people decide to go and clean their cars on a different time on a different scale. So some people will go every day and they will have so they will yeah. won't endure those issues and other people will uh, go one time a week mm -hmm. and that will take a little more time and with more, right. with more effort. So I think uh, maybe first, before defining stages, stage will be to find where the car is really dirty. Yeah. And which, which gets to Sarah Agostina's point. So you're, you're all, again, you're kind of getting to the actual observation. My question was, what do you hope to learn? So what you hope to learn kind of as a baseline probably is, you know, where do people get stuck? You know, wh where does it take time? And maybe how much money do they spend to vacuum? And that is probably correlated with how dirty the car is. Mm -hmm. 